caught a cold on my last hunt for monsters. Unfortunately, it was the only thing I caught that day. Today, armed with only my cold and the fishing gear I had chosen, I headed out for battle. The pond I have chosen for today's battle is a private pond with four acres of clear water and spotted cover. I had just finished catching some bait and settled in for the day to play out. I had no time after casting out my first line to get my camera situated or turn it on. This video is after a five minute battle with my first fish on only six pound mono. I am able to fish this pond only on terms I keep what I catch. I never thought I would bring home what you are going to see. So please sit right there and enjoy this video. I'm out here doing some shiner fishing today. Weather is a little cool, so I figured it'd be the perfect time to do it. And man, let me tell you. I want to show you. I didn't want to turn on my camera until I got into some action, but it was too late for uh, anyone to see anything by the time I fought this guy right here. Oh, yeah. Uh, wife asked me to catch some dinner tonight, so there's dinner. The people that own this pond asked me to take out uh, the fish I catch because it's overstocked. So, as you can see, I'm doing what I'm asked to do. I get a fish here for free, private land. I'm the only fisherman that's able to fish it. I had something hitting this shiner. We got something. Oh boy, do we got something. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, he's a fighter. Oh, is he a fighter? Holy cow. Oh, and he just let go. You should have seen that monster. Oh, man. Oh, I tell you, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. They're all around me. I think that shiner's done for. Man, that was a big bass. Holy shoot. I don't know if you guys seen him fall off, but oh man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was minding my own business just sitting here goofing off when both of the bobbers went down at the same time and I got that one in turned the camera on <laughs> and then that one it was funny because I think Shiner was dancing on the water and that bass was just playing Pac-Man with him it's really imperative when you're using a spin cast that doesn't have a bait feeder to leave your bell open this one right here has a bait feeder See, click it off, and drag kicks in. So, <laughs> I'm pumped. I had a feeling that the bass would be a little deeper today than they were last time I was here because the water temperature has dropped down to the lower 70s. Maybe the upper 60s, so... I went into deeper water with the shiners in the afternoon. Water's a little warmer in the depths. Got a couple hot pockets then down there, so. We're just chilling. 
That big bass that hit that green bobber right there, man. That shiner was just dancing on the top, and that bass was just bash, bash, bash. Oh, it was cool. I wish I would have had the camera on. It was insane. I love shiner fishing. A lot of people don't like it. But, you know, it's a nice way to relax and just catch some fish. Not have to cast and reel, cast and reel, cast and reel. So. And I pretty much had to get dinner tonight, so I needed a sure thing. And shiners are freaking out. They don't know what's going on. Oh, that bobber just went down. Here's the fish. There's the bait feeder going. Hear it? Give him a little bit of time. Okay, here we go. Goya! Oh, I missed him. I need to tighten this drag up a little bit. There we go. Oh, look at that. Already hitting it. There it goes. Always give them a couple seconds to get it turned around in their mouth. <coughs> and let them run with it a little bit. There, we got that one. No, don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. I only got six pound test on this pole. <laughs> Just gonna bring him in. Nice and easy. Come here, buddy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, doggy! <laughs> that one there. This is probably my utmost favorite reel in the whole world. The Akuma Avenger Bait Feeder. This thing is so awesome. I love it. I just wish I had a smaller model. Because this is kind of like a big fish reel. But I guess I am catching big fish so <laughs> to each their own right yeah there it is see look bass is hitting the shiner <laughs> I 
basically what I do with these shires, I hook them right in the back, right behind the old dorsal fin there. And it keeps them pretty lively. Why are you swimming back towards me, dude? You make no sense. I really don't know where you're going with this shiner. <clears throat> Bait feeder on. Well, bobber disappeared. Thinking we got a bass on. And I'm thinking he's going right underneath the kayak. Look at that. You're a brave son of a gun, aren't you? Listen to that bait line run. That's a beautiful sound. Oh yeah, we got one. Oh, he's a fighter. Keep the rod low so we don't jump. Wow. He's a monster. He's a monster. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Don't jump, buddy. Oh no, don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, thank you. For not jumping. Fight's almost out of him. Oh, so I thought. Holy. Woo, yeah. Ooh, I barely have him hooked, too. Barely.
Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, he's in there now. Rawr. These guys are only about five pounds, so this one might go late. <clears throat> Use your good boy. Use your good boy. <laughs> That's a stringer full of fish, boys. <laughs> 